Dirty Pam, old man in at the end of the day and night, and at the end of the night, a day again. Glorious be to the most high, Queen Sassy Aja. Greeted in the name, I don't know. I have to come on and I have to have a little speech and thing your sight because we have to talk we have to reason so come on and come all and let's have a talk because more time when you look for some things in life trust me I have to bring it Bring awareness to, to it and make other people see it because sometimes some people see it and they don't want to talk about it. But I wake up out of my bed, my hand are hurt, my foot are hurt, my ears are hurt, every part of me are hurt, I have life. So why should I be complaining when I have the greatest thing? <clears throat> Seeing people, I have life. And when you have life, all you need to ask for is health and strength. If you go do anything where you want. When them say reach for the stars, them never tell us if you go make people bring the star come give you. You if you go for your own star. So I want to see people star and want to take people star and feel like one is deserving. You're not deserving. You should go for your star and you get your own rewards. Stop see people things and feel like say people. Owe you. Nobody no owe you nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. You owe yourself. So when you wake up, you should tell yourself that it's mine. Just like when you hear the man say, 877 cash now. I have a hundred taxes and I need cash now. When the man called JG went to it. Call 877 cash now. It's my money and I need it now. Remember the commercial let? It's my money and I need it now. I saw you fair talk to yourself in the mirror and I say, listen my man, may I go for the goal here, you know. Zin, may I go for this goal here. Zin, but I realize that people see people with them things and them get so red eye and shiny eye. People grudge you over followers. You create a YouTube channel. People have problem with their YouTube channel, I remember, you know. Every day people get up and they wonder why are they still in the same place? Because they're busy worrying about others. Think me can get up and worry. Look how the YouTube platform big. The whole lot of people are in a TikTok. They're on YouTube long time. Right? And we as black people, as we start going on it, we start create problems, we start reporting other people page. I never hear say white people are reporting for no other white people yet. You know, I never see that yet. It's always black people. Every time you see a squabble on the internet, because one thing is white people, they like to take things to court. I see people that have a problem with people or a vehicle. Somebody buy a, somebody buy, buy, buy a vehicle and you hear a next person and say, Oh, me buy the vehicle first and then follow me and buy a vehicle. Like, what do you mean? If somebody buy a Benz and you buy a Benz, Benz never make one of those cars. The only way Benz make one car is unless you're wealthy. And you tell Benz, don't make no more. And the wealthy them get to that. We're not talking about rich. Wealthy. Because if you think about it, all the rappers have a Maybach. The rappers have a Maybach or they have a, have a whatever you want to call the vehicle. Them. All of them have one, you know. 
but they have different colors and they do the interior some do white interior some do yellow interior some you understand them design it to all them want but the wealthy say listen to me if a ten of them you're gonna make make sure i get the last one because me i gonna sue you see but we the black people greetings show day See, I have things to talk this morning, you know. I have whole heap of things to talk. But I tell you this. Man, no found no. I'm an associate. I can't call no found no friend. Because everybody knows me dealing with my thing. I tell you this. Always uplift your children. Never you tear down your children, them. Because no found no. I don't big and have kids now. I don't want to love them when it's convenient to uno. See? I don't tell them the most disrespectful things. And then I wonder why they don't have a high self-esteem. I wonder why their self-esteem is so low. Then I wonder why they run away. Then I wonder why they start have sex so early. Then I wonder why, 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 why. Uno is the problem. Uno is the cause of enough of the misfortune that the kids them face today. Uno never uplift Uno data yet. Uno always a tell her how she go catch man. Uno always a tell her how she go be war. Uno always a tell Uno son so Uno son a go turn batty man. And man a go fuck him. And all kind of things Uno tell Uno pitney. Uno tell them all of this. And then when them start to eat, Uno wonder where them get that from. How them do that. Why them do that. Looking on yourself. Remember this, you know. Me is a father, see? And it's in 1997 when me realized that two youth me get, my life change. And it have to change for the better. I remember me have a grand uncle who live in England. And my grand uncle looked at me one time and told me, said, Pitney, I hold down. But he never explained it to me when he said, Pitney, I hold down. See, I can explain it better now because I understand what he was saying. But when him say pit me, I hold on and him say, anyhow, a woman tell him say she want to breed for in at them time, they him leave her. Because he nah go have him goals them and make a woman come make him go breed her and rare. Yes, him love have sex with her and everything. Front nice and thing and him jojo and jogi jag unite. You know but the responsibility is what he wasn't willing to deal with. You know what I mean? The responsibility he wasn't willing to deal with the responsibility because remember having a child is a huge responsibility. And up to today day here, I'm still wondering why some of the girl them continuously thinking that a child is a big achievement. You bring a problem, and it's not supposed to even be a problem. You bring a youth into the world into today's society where so much things is going wrong but yet still you want to live your same life you still want to get up and go party and you still want to get up and just not do nothing because you think that somebody will take off this child off your hands like you think of clothes and shoes <laughs> see and it's continuously happening 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 now you have to say to covid make how much girl breed no them breed enough time already. Enough time. Them breed already. But the one you know couldn't get rid of. No money never did it to get rid of that one year. So now they blame it on COVID. I mean, no, say enough I only blame the majority of the things on COVID. But we never get into that. I just a say, uplift your responsibility. And when you see a child doing good, you should feel great. Your child. That you brought into this world. You got a duty. To take care of this child. Until they can take care of themselves. And if they want to give you something. They can give you something. But if they don't give you anything. That's fine. A lot of us parents. Never treat the child good. Others treat the child good. And when the child. Pass the worst. 
then them claim so them proud and them want to be the great fathers or they want to be the great mothers oh that's my child that's my son that's my daughter because i hear many stories you know i hear many many stories and trust me a lot of men are not in them child's life because of the mother the mother paints such a bad picture on the father that the child Love the mother so much that she or he have a hatred for this dad. Because every day this woman here get up and just sit down and she say, Your father wicked. Him run off with him foreign girl. Him run off with him brown girl. And him leave with a suffer. Him not give with nothing. And him not this and him not that. Right? And remember, you know, many stories me hear. I've seen it where the mother paint the worst picture of the dad. The dad do everything. And the dad say, you know what? I need to take away myself and save the little sanity what I have left. Because if I don't do that, I am going to have to kill this woman. I'm going to have to kill this woman. I have to run away to save my sanity. Because you have some woman there will suck out the life out of you. They will suck the life out of you. I know a lot of you all won't agree. I know a lot of you won't agree. But I'm just talking what I have seen. And the realities of many things that I've seen. Remember, there's a lot of dirty fathers. Dirty, dirty. I know a lot of them. Some of them, are my, some of them and I are associates. So don't think I am being one-sided. So just please listen to the conversation before we say, Richard bias. This is no bias. None at all. No bias. A lot of guys want to mash up a girl life by leaving her with his responsibility. Because he wants to get her pregnant, mash up her shape, then walk and tell people, say, that's his baby mother. That's the only title he want to give her. That's my baby mother. Yes, sir, your baby mother. You're responsible for the baby. You know how the baby pampas by. You ever buy a infamil? You ever buy a lactogen? You ever buy a lacta one plus? You ever buy a Johnson baby oil or a powder? You ever buy a pure soap? You ever do none of them something there? But yet still, cheese your baby mother. You never do none of that yet. So don't get me wrong. I know a lot of them. But each time I see them, don't take care of them youth. I step up and I take care of my youth ten times better. Because remember, them can't say anything about Richard. But you will never say Richard is a deadbeat. You will never say Richard don't take care of them. You will never, 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 never come and say too much of my friend them. We can do it. Don't do it. Because let me tell you the next thing. A lot of guys have this ego where the woman don't want to continue the relationship with him anymore. And him don't want to maintain him you. She said let's go parent and him don't want to deal with that. Him want to the girl draws. See and I see a lot of them go a dance and I see them buy how much table like a liquor, 20 grand van table and them picnic school fees, $4,500 at the little basic school, not even prep. The little basic school. And I see them a floss and a throw liquor and I try to impress a girl. Where uncle look good in that party there. They try to impress a girl just like how you see some girl try to impress a man. Them try to lose weight. For put on a dress. They go on an all white party. Them now try to lose weight consistently. You know. Them say the belly have to go in for fit in that dress here. If you wear, go a pearly white. Just for one night. Them stab themselves one week just for put on one dress. And when they're done, they wonder why people look on them side eyes all the time. People can look on me any way you want. But one thing you gotta do, you gotta look on me with respect. And you have to deal with me with respect. You hear me say? 
me, Richard, and Jay Bailey. I take pride in my pick with them. Remember one time I going to select a boy. Sit down and chat me with some girl. And say, me go on like a me alone of Pitney. I'll meet up out of Missy and Puffy. Me never tell you, say, don't talk about your Pitney. Because remember, talking about your Pitney is one, you know. Being about your Pitney is a different thing. You hear me say? You see, anything where you buy yourself, you're supposed to can buy your youth. Because I'm tired of seeing it. You trash. Your pitney look like riffraff. Why you not look like riffraff and your pitney trash? Warm to the future. Warm to you making your youth look the best because you live a life already. So make your youth come up and see a life where I eat them all live. See? And the reason why I come on for come touch upon that topic here. I see my daughter this morning. And I look at my daughter. And I say, You know, I say, I do good. I do good. I feel proud. And you know why I feel proud? I come from far as a father. I never leave my pitney side. Remember, none at all up to today, dear. Yeah? Me still dead. You yeah, hear? My daughter go to work. My son message me. Say, Daddy, I go to work now. Say, Yeah, have a good day. I love you, my son. And I look for my two pitney them. Because I realize no found no. A grand pitney on a celebrate, you know. A grand picnic on a celebrate. On a sacrifice for nothing but pampas and blood clad lasco. And free clothes from foreign where I come from, Era Pastel and Abercrombie and Finch and Baby Gap. And that on a celebrate because we have some family and friends in clothes come. Gunu. But remember, life is more than that. A lot of you have some family where send be a name brand Jordan and whole heap of jumpsuit and whole heap of big things come. But you don't see. The reality, how much time you spend with the youth, how much time you spend with the youth. No found out they pan three and four grand already. And all they say, oh, me never dash them with so baby have to come and baby have to ban. But when you know, instill in a youth, they remember me tell my son, say, you are girlies. Because your father girlies. But remember me, you responsibility. You hear me say? Remember, it's easy to get front. But what come after that? Can me tell him? You getting a youth right now. Your responsibility. Most girls when me see get pitney, as them get the pitney, all them do a push out and then see the mama yeah. Come, my granddaughter, you cutie. Oh, my grandson, nicey. And this and that and that and them jump up. And them go on. When you get a youth, your life has got change now. You become a man now because you have responsibility. Okay? <coughs> you hear me say? You have responsibility now. You are going to know what it is like to you get your peer and can't even touch it. Because your daughter are going to need this. Are your son going to need this? Yes, I'll be there as a grandfather. But remember, you will be there right through. Because there's no way I'm going to take full responsibility for your action. No. It's enough time when you see some people put up on a top. Oh, I love my granddaughter. I love my grandson. Not no wrong. But when your son and your daughter go take it. So what they do so them say okay the granny will take care of her so me can go and go skin out and get one more and the son can go breed the next girl and bring in so every year him just a bring in a pitney and a bring in a pitney and a more problem that for you you take up every mouth because if you notice not found it upon this so no no you don't have a big son because I don't have the same age not found the older than me but you don't have a big son you don't have a big son and every minute different different baby mother call you you don't feel good him don't give me nothing for the pitney you know and him like this and him like that, you know. You don't feel good when you don't get them call, eh? 
Eh? And them call out no one here. Or you know, bring the money coming you now. I'm going to carry him to family court, you know. I'm going to this and you have to depart the top of your voice and say, Show they call me you now. Susan call me you now. I'm going to carry him with this, you know. I'm a big man, you know. My problem is this, you know. You call me every time you pick me up, you know. And Ray Ray this and that and she say, you black her. You think me, I live that dirty life there? You think me, I live that dirty life there? Not me. So, my son can't have any amount of woman anymore. Yeah, my son yeah. can't have any amount of woman he want. But as long as you get a youth, your life will change. Because now you're going to know what it is like to be a man who is responsible. You can't get a youth and decide to so not take care of it. Yes, they're going to be labeled you as Richie Feeling's son now, nah, man. Because remember that now come out for you. Richie Feeling's son, Richie Feeling's daughter. Because you may have one little piece of name. But remember this. You have your responsibility for dealing. See? Alright. When I tell you to uplift one of you, them, it's a great joy when you look. For your youth and see how far you struggle. Like a lot of women I know say still have paid tuition. A lot of women still have struggle with the student loan and paid back. A lot of women and the stress are killing them. So I know how to feel enough time when I see the picnic and grateful. I know how to feel. Because the struggles where you go through. All of the crosses where you bear. Because I've been there. So when the picnic now live up to the expect expectation of you. You just feel like you did wrong. But don't blame yourself if you do the right thing. Because remember, you, know, you want them to do the right thing. But if they are going to do the wrong thing, and they are going to do the wrong thing. You do your best. So you search yourself and just say, what did do wrong? I pay the tuition. I give them seven meals a day. I give them clothes and shoes. They never go to school hungry. They never do nothing wrong. They don't know sleep on the ground feel like. They don't know nothing at all. Me sleep on the ground, them sleep on the bed. Everything me have me give them, me do everything right. So once you go to mama looking at yourself and say you do everything right, you make them move them blood clot. Cause them have mistake what them have to make and you can't help them. Young life does support them the best you can. You know what I mean? So when me I tell you say me look for me youth, I'm still youth. Remember my daughter and my son are gonna be 24 this year. And I feel great. Because I know a girl that's 20 with 5 kids And struggling And I know a youth that's 23 with 7 kids And struggling And they're saying that nothing is going on and work that they are work can get I hear this over and over and over and over and over and over and over So one of 4 kids, one of 7 kids So that's 11 children You know what I mean? And they are blaming it on the system and saying no work not there. And no work not there. But I go and explain something to a lot of people. I hear when you sing and say no work not there. I hear when you sing you know, and say no work not there. But do you have any qualification to get no jobs at all? What's your qualification? You blame it on the system, says school fee was too high. When you drop out from 13 or 14 years old, you never try to send back yourself to art because art is there. None of you never try to put back on yourself in an art yet to get a skill. Remember, old people always tell us that having education is great, but having a skill is more better. So even though you might not fully bright, you have a skill. Remember, dressmaker always a make dress, tailor always a make. Zine, remember my daughter got university. Them not teach her no skill up there. She learned some basic things up there. But just because of the name of the school, you will get a certificate and they say you get a degree. So you get a, a master's and you get a bachelorette. You know what I mean? You get those two things. But when you go to, when you go to art or anywhere else, you learn a skill. Nobody lose them skill. 
And enough time you hear a lot of boy and some girl are telling us they not do that. You know why they're not doing it? Because they don't want other boy and girl to see them do it. But the other boy and girl will say they not do it. They want to beg you something when you go do it. So right away, enough of you know, live for people. I live when I live for people. I tell you this. Nothing where people say about me, I don't worry about. Because enough boy and girl try off of me enough time. First thing, big fat sour Richie. I hear that from me young. I'm a big man now. I still hear it. So only things that I go bother me all of my life when I tell me something big and sour. When I know saying I myself me smell better than Uno. Because if you ever talk about me, say I don't look good and I don't this and I don't that and you're there with me and my mouth look like it stinks and all of them something. You said all of them something about me. Make sure say when I see you. A Jesus himself make you and God. And Snow White and Alibaba and the Fatty Thief Make sure the whole of them make you Because to the way you talk about me and discriminate me and things They could have tear me down And then when me go see and you look like me as my dog I feel about one picture here with drunk bro. Try make sure say You all live better than me You are rich you are wealthy You have plazas on top of plazas Because the last time when me, me knew about you know Rich people not talk about poor people you know Rich people talk about getting richer and richer you know So when you go to my house Sing and I say the whole of them something about me If it bother me when me did you I know it all bother me That's the truth I know it all bother me I tell you this, there's nothing you can tell me if you hurt me unless you talk about me youth them, them things that hurt me when people talk about me youth them because I want war I'm not done when you talk about me pity them I'm not done See? That's why I tell you to say Uplift the youth them When people ask me what is my greatest achievement and I say my youth them is my greatest achievement I know why I say so because I stand up for them and I watch them pass the worst one of the greatest things is when you know that your kids pass the worst and you were there and you never did it halfway in or part time or when it necessary to you because a lot of you boy you don't want the woman if the woman not going in the front I don't feel like you can just cut off the woman and the pitney and that's how life work. I don't want no friend when I look upon him pitney them just because the woman not deal with him. Move your blood clot. And you talk about you invest. Oh, nothing I do for the woman and I do everything for her. Me, her, this and me, her, that. And yes, you do the whole of that. Yes, yes, I agree. But it's okay to start over. Because whatever you would give her, you will get back more. Always remember your sanity It's more precious than any amount of jewelry Your morals, your dignity and your pride is more precious Than any shoes where you buy a girl No amount of fuck or head where she give you in life No better than your sanity Your dignity You know what I mean? And somehow you don't go in time when you see Father's Day come and you want to pick me put you up and you want happy birthday and you want It's like you don't want you know, seasonal love and you want You don't want unconditional love Every youth want to live good Every youth supposed to live good You know what I mean? Remember we see everything you know We see everything there's nothing that my eye don't see. But I don't know what you know, can show me right now when I never see it. What do you want to hear about you say there's a new app called The Brain? You should check it out. A lot of you really need to check it out. Download The Brain app and start using your brain. Said so there is a lot to life more than vanity. Enough time when I see me put up my food and I see enough I want to comment and I complain and I talk about. Oh,